Hi, everybody. I'm starting over again. I got halfway through the deck and realized that I never turned the microphone on. So you would have just seen my lips moving and heard no sound. What fun is that, right? How can y'all listen to me screw up if you can't hear me? Anyway, the deck we're going to do tonight is a fairly new one. It just came out a couple of months ago. I just got it. And it's called Intuitive Whispers Oracle by Maud Hurst. Artwork by Lori Minna. I am loving, loving, loving this deck. It is beautiful. And this is the guidebook that comes with it. You flip through, you're going to find all kinds of highlighted passages. I've already been through it. Um, I like to know and understand what the intention of the author was when they create a deck. You know, what, what was their vision? What was their goal? What was their mission? Um, with Maud, uh, she says here in her book that she created this deck to help us connect back to the deep inner wisdom that's within all of us. And that her wish is that these cards will help to guide us to remember our brilliance. And I just think that's that's a wonderful sentiment. And it's it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Um, she puts all different ways of, of listening. Some of it's color-coded. Um, some of it is like the four stages of transformation, listening, clearing, rebuilding, and action. Um, anyway, it's a really great little book, explains a lot, and I've got the microphone on this time, so hopefully y'all can hear me, and let's give this a second go around, see how we do. Okay, number one, slow down. I think that was my problem. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to get it together in a minute here, I promise. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Number two. Unraveling. <laughs> I feel like I'm unraveling tonight. Okay. Number three. The power of silence. Yes. I could do a whole TikTok on that. Maybe I will. <laughs> Number four, feel, don't think. That's a hard one to do sometimes. But sometimes the opposite is harder to do. <laughs> Just depends. Number five, ground from the root. I like that thought. I might have to do daily affirmations with this deck. Y'all let me know what you think. Number six, tap into your sacral power. That's a really pretty picture. Like I said, the artwork in this is beautiful. Number seven, wisdom of the solar plexus. Number eight, listen from the heart. Boy, is that not a necessary message for folks today. I definitely think I'm going to do this as an affirmation deck when I finish the one I'm on. Number nine, throat release. Let it all come out. Number 10, message from the third eye. That's important. Okay. Number 11, Crown activation. That's a cool picture. Number 12. You're more powerful than you know. I think this is my favorite picture in this deck. If I remember correctly, I think this is it. I just love this picture. Number 13. Become your own priority. Every card I'm reading would make a really great one-minute short 
and TikTok. I'm definitely going to be doing this deck after I finish the current one I'm doing on my affirmations. I think we might be doing this afterwards. Okay, number 14, feel into emotions. Yeah, don't just do it because you think that's what you're supposed to do, but actually feel it. All right, I'm going to stop doing that. Let's get back to the cards. Okay, number 15, stop pushing and striving. Take a breath. Take a rest. Goodness knows we all deserve it. Number 16, release old patterns. Number 17, clear limiting beliefs. And that's when I discovered the first time around that I didn't have my microphone on. Which when I got to number 17. <laughs> number 18. Emotions are energy in motion. That's a cool thought. Okay. Now I'm really messing up. Wait, I got to pause. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, number 19. Move your body to move your emotion. Now that's easier said than done for some of us. Some of us can't really move our bodies anymore. Um, number 20. Gratitude for the past. Number 21. Spacious mind and soul. I like that thought. Number 22, your mind, your body, your soul. Number 23, your body is like a book. Number 24, inspiration hunt. Boy, that looks so relaxing. I love that picture. Number 25, intuitive journaling. It would be, it's amazing what you can learn from yourself when you journal. Even if you only write a couple sentences a day. Do that for six months and then go back and reread what you wrote. Seriously. Number 26, trust yourself. Number 27, let go of control. Number 28, gift yourself. We all deserve a gift every now and again. And who knows better what you want than you, right? Number 29, the precious present moment. Yeah. Number 30. You are brilliant. Look at that peacock's tail. That's gorgeous. Wow. Number 31. What is meant for you will find you. Here you go. Number 32, fill up your cup. Number 33, your soul knows. Number 34, the magic of nothingness. Wow, there's, I could write a book on that statement alone. Number 35, explore fullness. That's another favorite picture. There's just so many in this deck that I really like. Number 36, one next step. Number 37, let this be your sign. Always be aware of the signs that go on around you. You'd be amazed at what spirit's trying to teach you. Number 38, 
community calls. That's been very evident these last two weeks with the two hurricanes that hit Florida. Number 39, vulnerability is power. Yes. Number 40, split your focus. Number 41, move through your fear. There's another book I could write. There we go, right there. Number 42, it's time to shine. Shine on, baby, shine on. Number 43, let your ship set sail. And where you end up is boundless. Number 44, trust the call. Okay, that's it for that deck. Like I told you, I really, I really like this deck. I've only been kind of using it on myself. I haven't been using it on anybody else yet, but that's getting ready to change. And um, I am seriously considering making that my next daily affirmation deck to go through for our daily affirmations. So let me know what you think, you know, or if you have a deck that you think would make good daily affirmations, Shoot me a line. Let me know. Um, chances are I've probably got that deck. <laughs> I've got far more than I know what to do with. It's an obsession. I can't help myself. I swear. Tarot Stash is always saying purchase responsibly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think my brain got that message. Anyway, y'all. Okay. That's it for Intuitive Whispers Oracle. I hope you like that deck. Um, I think it's a really great deck. I really love it. I can't wait to start using it in readings for other people. Um, I think people are going to enjoy getting readings from that deck a lot. So um, y'all have a good night, day, afternoon, depending on when you watch this. I'm getting ready to post it as soon as I finish. So It'll be nighttime when it comes out, but, you know, it may be tomorrow where you are, so who knows? Anyhow, y'all have a good one, and uh, I will see y'all soon.